they are luring the masses in, these false prophets, who, who, who we, uh, we've seen time and time again, and we've exposed it time and time again to some of these patriotic conferences that are out there, whatever the case may be, and people are gullible enough to fall for this trash and sow into that, thinking that they are sowing into the right system, God's system. It's not God's system. It is the devil's system, and I'm going to do a class on this at some point, and so I'm, I'm still working on it, and I, I'm going to draw it out for people. Well, people can understand what they're sowing into is from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It looks like God, tastes like God, smells like God, and it, therefore, they think it's God. It's not. It is pure evil, period, Chris. The system that the churches are in are under judgment. I'm going to read the other prophecy tonight you asked me to read right here that I wrote in January of this year called Judgment Has Begun, and we'll go into some of that right now. But here's the other thing I want to, uh, that I want to go into here is that a minute ago I read that prophecy and I talked about how these false prophets are prophesying current events. And and I don't want that I didn't want that to some come across as being arrogant. So I'm gonna I want this will explain a lot of it right here. This is why I wrote this a while back. It says, Do you notice how all these false prophets are prophesying on current events? Why? Because they can't get revelation from the tree of life. They have to get information from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, current events. They are they read or are fed info from the media or their handlers or supposedly high level military contacts feed that info to the false prophet and they prophesy it as if it were coming from God. What happened to prophesying something years in advance? Then the prophetic voice has to stand on the test of time in order for it to come to pass. Why doesn't that work right now? Because people want it right now. We live in a microwave society that people want it now. God does not work like that. There's always a character testing process that takes place and people don't want it. So the false prophets Step up and give the people what they want to hear in the uh, now. They step up and give them what they want to hear in the now. You can have a word given on current events. No waiting, no testing, no nothing. Just receive that word and bang. Just like that, within 24 to 48 hours, you too can be deceived into believing that BS. That's not all. You can sow and give into the support of that same BS bail system. Callers are standing by to take your hard-earned money. We got PayPal, check, money order. Cash is always king. Heck, we even take blame. Unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. A lot of bling. This is this is how ridiculous this has become. Yes. I mean, I know it's, all, uh, it's, it's mocking these guys. I, I don't care at this point. This is how ridiculous this is, has become, Chris. It's about money. It's about control. It's about how many followers do I have. It's about whose platform can I get on to promote myself and to glorify myself, not bring glory to God or Jesus Christ, period. It's not about the Holy Spirit. It's about business. How can I take my church to a new level of business, period? These demons have infiltrated the seminaries, the churches, ministries, prophetic ministries. Why? To take them to a novel, another level of business. Yes. It's not about souls. It's about That's right. money That's right. and control. Hey folks, welcome to the Well Transfer of TC. Today is going to be truly a Twisted Christian video. I'm going to share with you guys Robin Cunningham's thoughts on Dr. Maria Conwell's prophecy that she you know, will go to a dollar and then, and then to $13. And in this video, there's going to be a lot of lessons that are going to be learned for everyone. And I am not perfect, and neither is anybody out there. No prophet is perfect, and neither are their teachings perfect either. Not everybody's walk with God is going to be like everybody else's, and not everybody is going to be where you are at. And just for those of you who don't know what Twisha Christian means, that was used to be the name of my channel called Twisha Christian. And, and the number one reason why I called it that was because for the longest time, whether it be friends or family or people in your church, will look at you funny because you believe in the prophetic. You believe that God talks to you in dreams and visions. People will look at you funny because you try to study from the Greek and the Hebrew perspective in the translations. And then when you go against the grain of what has been taught traditionally because of a lot of the mistranslation that is in most of the Bibles. 
there are five different places where prophecy comes from. All right. And the first one comes from God. And there's a lot of people that say the Lord said, or God said, or the Holy Spirit said. Right. So that means they are claiming that their prophecies are coming from God. And then we have the gift from God. As you know, gifts come without repentance. So whether if they are saved or not, people have a gift and prophecy from God. And then they come from the enemy. And they can also come from your flesh. And they can also come from cheating. And what I mean by that is you can sit here and look at all the prophecies. You just go to YouTube. You can find years and years of prophecies. And then you can turn around and claim that these are your own prophecies. You just change things here and there. And there are people that do do that. And one of the things I want to deal with is prophetic accuracy and is it important. It's important with the wealth transfer. It's important with finances. It's important within politics. And should I have the responsibility to show you when a prophet's prophecy fail? You know, on this channel, we show a lot of prophets, dreamers, visionaries, regular people who just have dreams and visions. And whether they're on YouTube or whether they post a dream on Reddit or Facebook, if I discern it right and I feel like if I need to show it, then I will. And I don't defend beliefs. In the Christian world, there are a lot of different beliefs and a lot of different belief systems. And because the body of Christ is not one, I'm not going to sit here and defend people's belief system because all I do is show their dreams and visions and what I believe that God is showing them. On this channel, we have given people grace. I have gotten complaints since starting this channel on almost every single person I've ever showed. Just about everybody I've received an email, a comment, whatever the case, that these people are either false prophets or they don't know what they're talking about or they're deceivers and everything else. And they want to explain to me their belief system. But now, see, what I'm getting ready to share is what I've been seeing over the last month and a half or so. And a lot of hate has been intensified and I receive it in my emails. I receive it in the comments. I ban people from my channel all the time. And now I see it in my discord and it's actually coming from one group of people who follow a certain prophet. Since doing this, I have never seen this. It has never been this bad as it has been in the last month and a half. You go harass me or you make off the wall comments to like the prophet prophets channel, or you go and harass Solomon or you go and harass Maria Conwell on this channel. See, some of you are afraid to go to other people's channels, but you just come to this channel and you, and you try to harass me. And there are other targets too as well. Now, what I want to share, in 2020, there was a 99.9% .9 failure rate of Trump prophecies. In 2021, there was a 100% failure rate with prophets talking about the return of Trump. And after 2020 happened in the elections, there was another group of prophets that went out there and prophesied all the way up until inauguration, 100% failure rate. Months after failure rates, 100%. When it comes to like the whole Epstein and Maxwell thing, 100% failure rate. In 2016, all the way through 2020, we heard from Mr. Q. Nothing but failure after failure after failure. Nothing was exposed. Nothing changed at all whatsoever. And many prophets rode the Q train and actually still are today. You're just not seeing it. And let me share something with you folks. When I began to study in 2016, the whole thing about Mr. E, Maxwell and all that, all that stuff is already out there. It's been out there for years. And if you know where to go and you know where to look and you know to go look where the data dumps are, then you can find out everybody who was involved. And yet there are prophets going out there prophesying on this stuff and they are continually have a 100% fail rate. And when I hear prophecies, when they dive into that stuff, I'm sitting there thinking like, wow, you know, this is a repeat of 2016 and 17 and 18 and 19 and 20. And yet here we are, their prophecies still have failed. And that's just like the Biden laptop, right? Everybody's talking about it and all this exposure to come from it. Let me share something with you folks. Back in 2020, this is from my group. And at the bottom of this, it says, look out for major U.S. news dealing with Clinton, Biden emails, laptop, and Epstein Maxwell files. That was back in 2020. And you know what, folks? I have tons of data on all that stuff. It's already out there. There is nothing new. I was able to actually watch and listen to a lot of the information that was already on the laptop. So if any prophet is telling you, 
all this stuff about the laptop, it's already out there. There's nothing new. If you don't know, it's just because you haven't did the research or dug deep enough to find the information. But who cares? And that's all people want to hear about is exposure and who's going down and who's going to jail and who's going to be in military trials and all that stuff. And yet, how many of you can even name one Epstein victim or two and who they were with specifically? I can guarantee 99% of you don't even know, but you can't wait to see what the next thing about the laptop is, which is absolutely ridiculous. You don't think Fox News already knew what's on there? They're not reporting it. They're not truly reporting it. They're trying to hide it too as well. And the contents of that laptop that I have seen would have been out already. I mean, if people want to hear the prophets talk about Epstein and laptop and all that stuff, you know, does God really want you to focus on that stuff? That's the question I have. I've posted about five or six or seven things maybe about that, but I don't focus on it. That time will come. Kim Clement already dealt with that. And he said that it was going to come. But yet you have these prophets out here. Every month, they're prophesying something new, right? And there's many of them, not just one. And it's just like the people riding the Elon Musk train right now, right? The moment he decided to take over Twitter, which I don't know if anybody ever prophesied that or saw that coming. But now all of a sudden, right, everybody, all the prophets are riding on the freedom of speech train. All of a sudden, exposure. We're going to have exposure what's going on with Twitter and social media. We've been knowing all that stuff since 2016. For those who pay attention, it's nothing new. It's not a prophecy. It's already out there already. And that's one reason why people are going to be get left behind because they are focusing on political prophecies that continue to fail. They, they continue to thrive off of exposure prophecies, which continue to fail. And I really feel like I have to do, deal with this because this is my walk. And I'm telling you and sharing with you my thoughts on all this, on all these different things. And most people don't even see it. You put people on a high pedestal that have a hundred percent failure rate or the prophecies continue to fail, or they prophesy out the news. The moment news comes out, and then all of a sudden, you know, you have all these prophets prophesying this thing, and they're prophesying off of the news. And I see it all the time. That's why some people have had to delete the entire YouTube channel and start all over again, because they had so many failed prophecies. And yet, nobody's seeing how bad of a prophet they are. And when it came to the prophecies concerning the election, there was only two people I know out of all the prophets I've ever studied. Actually, three. And that was Solomon, Christopher Harris, and then Kim Clement. You see, when you study Kim Clement's prophecies, you realize what's going on. Yes, exposure will come. But it's not going to be in the timing of the prophets and what they want. And that's why the church was very hurt and damaged because of what the prophets did in 2020 and 2021 and it's still happening right now and some of them are the same people there's a reason why i don't show certain people on here anymore all they do they prophesy so much that you forget all the other prophecies and i tell you guys write the pro if you're watching somebody write them down and if they give a date write down the date and write down the time of when they said it on the video no nobody wants to do that there's very few people that actually do that and then you find yourself confused and then you, you forget because they prophesy so much. You forget what they prophesied a month ago, six months ago, or a year ago. And then their prophecies change. And right now I'm seeing a lot of prophet worship. And you got one group of people that are going around harassing other people. Now you ask me, is that what the apostles did? Is that what Jesus did? Is that what God is telling you to do? Is to go harass other people or harass other people that are in the wealth transfer? That are prophesying in the wealth transfer? Is that what God is telling you to do? Is God telling you to go out and call them names and to run them down? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And if everybody's supposed to be a child of God, right, is that how you treat individuals? Now, I'm getting ready to get into what Robin said about Dr. Maria Conwell's prophecy. I want you guys to pay attention and really listen. All right. And remember, I told you guys there are five places where prophecy comes from. Right, And I think there's been a lot of division sown within the wealth transfer community over the last month and a half. And maybe some of you don't even realize, some of you don't care. But when it affects me in the work that I try to do and with everything that I try to put out there and all the research and everything, 
And then you have all these people come and harass you. They come and harass the people that you show on this channel. I think it was important for me to do this video because I would be sharing the same thing as I have with friends that I know. So I'm going to go ahead and share what Robin has said about Dr. Maria Conwell's Shiba Inu going to a dollar and then $13. Now remember folks, for the longest time, we've heard many different prophetic words, positive prophetic words coming from all over the place. And Shiba Inu was one of those that has been most prophesied about. And we know that earlier on, Prophetically speaking, Robin wasn't very positive about Shiba Inu. He said it was going to go away on multiple occasions. All right, so this was back on April the 20th. On the Focus Shifts to Biden was the title. All right, so he's getting ready to talk about Dr. Maria Conwell's prophecy concerning Shiba Inu. Hey, Robin. Glad you made it to Texas. Uh, Maria Cromwell prophesied Shiba Inu would reach a dollar, then $13 after which Shiba got to get a girlfriend called Shiba Inu. Um, so I don't know about that. That person's been, from what I understand, has been wrong a lot, but I don't know them. I've never seen any of their prophecies or anything like that. So I don't know. I personally have not ever seen it going up over much more than a dollar. And even then, that will probably take a really long time. I mean, they have the, like one of the highest market caps out there. So wouldn't it be like really hard to get the $13? They'd have to own like a, a, pretty significant portion of the world's money so that mean everybody would basically have to invest but what do i know you know i don't feel like it's possible but again i'm not here for my opinion okay so let's focus on what he said he said he didn't know who she was all that and he didn't read any of her prophecies but he said that she's been wrong all right let's listen to it again so i don't know about that that person's been from what i understand has been wrong a lot but I don't know them. I've never seen any of their prophecies or anything like that. So I don't know. If you don't know about a particular person's prophecies, then why would you make a comment and say that they were wrong? That doesn't make any sense to me at all whatsoever. And it is the responsibility of a prophet to seek God on certain things. And so if you've never read any of her prophecies, why would you on live YouTube attack her and say, that you know that she's been wrong. Who is telling you that she's been wrong? Where are you getting your information from? Right? That should have been something. Oh, I don't know. Let me go research it. And then I'll get back to you. That's what a responsible prophet would do. See, here in the wealth transfer, you know, we show different people. And why would people go and ask him about Dr. Maria Conwell's prophecy? If you don't know somebody, you don't know their prophecies, then why would you say on live t TV, that she's been wrong and you haven't even read any of her prophecies and this is not the only time that this has been done and so a lot of us here in the wealth transfer we believe that god is using shiba inu because all 2021 it was all about shiba inu was going to go away wasn't going to make it and everything else and it wasn't until when everybody else was prophesying shiba inu all of a sudden it was uh, shiba inu is getting ready to take off here in a couple days or here in a couple weeks, you just threw a prophecy out there and let, that didn't even happen, right? Because he said it would go up. That was in December. I remember that. I have it written down like all the other prophecies. When you give grace to somebody, right? He, he says that she's been wrong a lot. And okay, so let's talk about when prophets are wrong. Okay, so there's a 100% failure rate on the return to Trump prophecies in the Pillow Man cases all throughout 2021, right? A lot of prophecies hung on the return of Trump. In November, on the video of Hello, We're Back, the Bitcoin prophecy that in January it was going to hit 100,000. Also, abortion would be overturned on January 22nd. In August of 2021, he stated that XRP in the next two to three months would go up to $12. XRP is going to go very high. Within the next year, it'll be worth over $1,000. That's what I've been seeing in the spirit. Um, but within the next, like, I want to say like two or three months, it'll go up over $12, but I believe that it's going to drop quite a bit. And then within a year, it would hit a thousand dollars. Now we're in the month of May. So in three more months, then we're expecting to see XRP at a thousand dollars, but the prophecy concerning it going to $12 in three to four months did not come to pass. A hundred percent failure rate on the Maxwell trial case. Shiba Inu was going to go away. 
we know where God stands at with using Shibu Inu. The trucker strike, if you guys remember, the mandates and all that. Okay, that was prophesied multiple times in 2021 and multiple times in 2022. It was supposed to cause the stock market to crash, right, from a lightning strike. And then as a result of that, then there would be an explosion, right? The mandate strikes, right? But it didn't happen. And when the truckers, when it didn't get the media attention, he did prophesy and turned around and said that Trump was going to mention it, you know, maybe on his social media or whatever, and then it was going to take off. And when that didn't happen, he said that we prayed it away. Well, if you have been prophesying going back four or five months before the end of 2021 about mandate strikes and it didn't happen, and then 2022 came and then Trump didn't do, and you still said that was coming. I don't, so everybody was preparing financially for that moment. And then just to say that it will be prayed it away. Well, if God was going to do that, right, that there was going to be both the markets were going to come down. And then as a result, it was going to be an explosion, right? None of that happened. You can't just say, oh, we prayed it away. You can't do that with every single prophecy because that was an ongoing prophecy that was supposed to happen and it didn't happen. I don't believe it that it was prayed away. I don't know where the prophecy came from. On September 2nd, there were supposed to be treason trials in December. On September the 2nd, also, all of our equipment that was left in Afghanistan was supposed to be destroyed. I, I tell you, folks, that's all over the place now. There's no going in and doing secret missions to destroy our equipment that was left over there. That's that's well over past due. And you know what? I can keep going on and on and on. I have pages and pages of prophecies that have not come to pass. You know, let's talk about some of the other confirmation prophecies. If you guys remember, I did a video on Robin dealing with confirmation prophecies, and that was done on purpose. Go back and watch the video because a lot of the prophecies that he's talking about, a lot of them are just confirmation prophecies. And some of you guys are attributing prophecies to him that he did not give. People thought that he was giving the prophecies on the BTC buy limit orders, and he wasn't, and many other things. And so you guys are confusing him with other prophets, prophets that he is calling wrong and calling witches. So let's talk about like the Biden laptop. We hear a lot about that, right? And I shared with you guys earlier that folks, everything is already out there. There's nothing new under the sun. Just because you haven't heard it doesn't mean that it's a prophecy. It's already out there. I could show you tons and tons of things. We know that it's coming. Kim Clement talked about it, right? But if God wants you to focus on Hunter Biden's laptop, then so be it. Everything about the election and the election fraud and all this. And what happened to all those dates? You know, I go back and I look and I can see the same thing that was being said that are in the groups that are in these right wing groups and also on Telegram and the Gateway Pundit, right? They were sharing all that information that it was all going to be about to be exposed. So I don't know. So I have to look at to whether or not if his prophecies are coming from God or they're in the flesh or somewhere else. You know, he's always talked about the Bitcoin manipulation and China and Russia and all that stuff. You know what, folks? You can go back and look at that. It's been going on for years. There's nothing new about any of that. Every conspiracy about Mr. E or XRP or Fauci or any of those things, you can find if you dig deep enough. There was nothing new. All right, and I just want to share this example. This is from a prophetic Q&A on October the 27th. Right? Somebody's going to ask him about if there's any new crypto prophecies. And this is why I question certain things, and this is why I listen very closely. Any new prophecy about crypto, Doge, XRP, and others? Now, XRP is going to be worth a lot of money, so just hold on to it. But there's going to be a big dip coming very soon. Um, so watch. This is what the Lord's told me. Watch what is going on right now. And somebody messaged me and was telling me it looks like it's going down to like 56 something. Or I felt like the Lord was saying 57 Okay, so if you listen, okay, he said somebody messaged him that it was going to be down to 56, and then he turned around and said he felt like the Lord was saying 57. So I'm kind of confused in this, and a lot of people didn't really see this at all whatsoever. And this is these are the kind of things that are said that makes me wonder, where are your prophecies coming from? If people are messaging you about where they see XRP is headed to just by looking at the charts, you know, because there is a lot of traders 
that trade by the charts. And all you have to do is follow people who talk about the charts every single day, and they will tell you where they see it going. Statements like these that make me question about where he's getting his prophetic words from. And it throws into question everything that is said about any of the cryptocurrency prophecy. Everybody knows XRP is going to take off. I mean, you could just look anywhere and find news going back years of people saying that XRP is going to overtake Bitcoin. It's going to be worth more than Bitcoin. It's going to be worth this amount or that amount. And they're not prophecies. And the prophecy about all these businesses accepting cryptocurrency, that's been going on since last year. We all knew that was coming anyway. It was just happening more and more and more. So it's not really a prophecy. It was something that's already in the news. It was something that was already ongoing. And that doesn't make anybody. I could have told you that. He talked about when he did the prophecy about Ethereum go to, going to 10,000. Everybody was uh, writing me about it. Well, you know what? Johnny Currency 365 saw it at 12,000. Nobody wrote me about that. And if you go to the news media and search in Ethereum prediction prices, Go back to 2018, go back to 2019, go back to 2020, go back to 2021. You're going to find people who say that Ethereum is going to be at $10,000 or more. Now, when it comes to the whole thing about the abortion, Mark Taylor has been prophesying that for years that this was going to happen, right? And there are other people that have prophesied that. He's not the only one. And just because you haven't heard it before doesn't make it his prophetic word. We knew that Eventually, at some point, if you believed in Mark Taylor because of his prophecies concerning Trump, then you already know that that was coming. And let's get into the dinar because this is what he said. He, on 828, August the 28th, he said that within a year, it would change in value. Right. So now we are, what, a little bit less than four months away from that particular prophecy. He also said XRP within a year on that same video that it would be a thousand. All right, but he also said when it came to the dinar, it would be a little bit less than a dollar four months after Trump returns. Well, if it's if the dinar is supposed to revalue by the end of August, then that means that Trump would need to be in the office right now. Everything about the exposure in the stock markets, we've all been talking about that for the longest time. If all you have to do is just follow the people who talk about AMC and GME every single day. And they could tell you a whole bunch of stuff. They could have told you about Nancy Pelosi and all this other stuff a long time ago. And then do you remember when he said back on February 1st, he talked about BTC curtailing and people were like, but you know what? That prophecy was already out there already. On January the 13th of 2022, this is what Christopher Harris saw. I had a vague dream about 45K, then lower to 36 or so. We went up recently to 44.5K, not sure if it's enough. Or we, or we will move higher. These moves don't necessarily signify the top or the bottom. And in this video, BTC curtails, he said it would go up to 45,000 and then lose over 13%. It's the same exact prophecy, just told in a different way. Christopher Harris had already prophesied that, and that part came to pass. Robin said that God told him that the big E was the earth. But when you go into Kim Clement's prophecies, that's not what Kim Clement was prophesying about. I have all the prophecies here dealing with the big E. Now, Kim Clement has not given a prophecy where 99% of the people can't get into, right? What did he say? What did he say about the big E? There will be a source that will have within this nation. It shall come from the garbage. It will come from the ground. It will come from paper. It will come from bugs eating a bunch of stuff. I'm seeing a bunch of bugs eating a bunch of stuff. God said, this is going to be the craziest thing. That was the big E. You go in and there's all, so, there's all these other details. And so people are like, oh man, I, we can't even get into the big E. Well, you know what, folks? It's not even out yet. Don't you guys remember that there's supposed to be, an, according to Kim Clement, that there was going to be an earthquake within the United States that was going to reveal the big E. So, but he said that it was the earth and he brought up the whole ion power thing and all this stuff. Yes, it's a good investment if you can invest in it, but that's not the big E. And so I have to wonder where these prophecies are coming from. And this is not something that I'm just now discovering. This is something I've been thinking about over the months. Now I'm getting ready to share with you about where a lot of the hate came from to start off with, right? And I knew that it was coming and I shared that it was coming. 
Now, this is the video where I received a bunch of hate and a bunch of comments and people coming into the Discord and calling other people names and being completely unchristian. So the video I'm getting ready to share with you is going to be is going to show you another pattern. Okay, and I have many patterns and I, there's a lot that I could show you, but I don't have time to sit here and make hours and hours of videos about things that I'm seeing. Do you believe in prophecies from psychics and people who believe in reincarnation that the Holy Spirit is female? I know psychics bend and manipulate the truth. Please share your take. Well, psychics, uh, psychics aren't prophesying. Well, you could call it prophesying, but the word pro to prophecy or prophesy in Hebrew and Greek means to foretell the heart of God. Psychics don't foretell the heart of God or actually foretell the future. What they do is they manipulate information that they have. They say things to try and get you in fear, to try and lead you to other gods. That's the definition of a false prophet. Holy Spirit is not a female. Holy Spirit is a male because in the Bible it says that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all male. Even though he refers to himself in a female context at some points, he is not a female. It is because in the kingdom of God there is no male or female, but there is one in Christ. There's no slave, nor Jew, no Greek, no free, no, no, any of it. We're all one in Christ, right? So reincarnation, reincarnation is a thievery of resurrection. You don't die and come back as a cow or some human, some different human being or anything like that, but we're born again, brand new every single day. That's our reincarnation as a Christian to be born again and to be a new creation every day. We wake up brand new every single day. I know that there's um, – somebody was telling me about another ministry out there with a woman who was saying this stuff. She's a witch. She's a deceiver. I will tell you that straightforward. She's telling you that Holy Spirit is a female, that God has a wife, that we're reincarnated and all this other stuff. That's a witch. Do not watch her. If you're watching her, you're deceived. You should get out of that. Psychics, some psychics do have gifts. There's natural gifts, I guess, that we're born with that God gives us that he, he, you know, his gifts are without repentance. So, you know, a person who's meant to be a prophet typically will always have an, uh, an ability to know things about what's going on around them. You know what I'm, what I'm, what I'm talking about? We, we know things that are going on around us all the all the time like or we can sometimes see or perceive what's going to happen in the future ahead of us because we have an ability to hear in the spirit uh from a very young age and that was something that i could do from a very young age so we we have these abilities within us and it says in the bible that when when a prophet is among you that god will come and visit him in a dream and if you were um if you were you the things that came to pass in the dream came to pass but they say to you let's go and worship another idol or they try and lead you to worship a god that's not god of israel then they're a false prophet and then <laughs> so pay attention to that okay so prophet solomon teaches reincarnation or wrote a book stating it is taught in the bible i wonder if that's who you speak of no i have no idea who prophet solomon is i, I don't know but if they're teaching that there's reincarnation they're wrong it's absolutely wrong okay so don't watch that stuff anymore all right. Um, and the stuff that they're prophesying is probably information that's being put out that they're getting and not actual prophecy. So I would test that. I wouldn't go there. If that's who that is, don't go there. OK. OK, so let's break this down. I don't sit here and defend people's beliefs. And one of the things that, uh, first of all, I studied about reincarnation. There are different people who believe different things. Not everybody believes that you come back as a cow or that's not the issue here in the issue that I'm seeing he said he was told that somebody told him about a ministry out there and we know that who he was referring to right because after this video and before then actually too as well you guys went some of some of his followers went over to her channel and harassed the hell out of her calling her witches then you guys were coming into the discord and calling her a witch not everybody believes in the exact same thing. So if you you saw what he said about Dr. Maria Conwell, well, she believes in purgatory. Isn't that another, isn't that a second chance? 
after death. So I didn't get as much heat about Maria as I have with Solomon. And this was a direct attack on two of the people that we have featured on this channel dealing with the wealth transfer prophecies. The same with uh, Johnny. Right? Both me and him have talked about Solomon. He's been talking about Solomon for the longest time. What, maybe since 2017 or 18? I don't know exactly when he first started talking about her. Now, he's saying that, basically suggesting that she is getting her prophetic words from another source. Right? Either they're making it up or they're getting it from the devil. Then why is it why Robin is prophesying about the same coins after she prophesied about? If she's prophesying cryptocurrencies well before he was about some of the ones that you guys are in, right? So where is that prophecy coming from? And again, he said somebody was telling him about this ministry. Well, obviously, somebody is going and sharing stuff about Dr. Maria Conwell and Solomon. Well, who are the only two YouTubers that are showing their prophecies? Me and Johnny Currency 365. So it's people who listen to this channel that are going over there to Robin, and they're trying to get him to talk bad about other prophets or people who are speaking in the wealth transfer. I saw this coming. And I, I, I literally thought that the next attack was going to come on Christopher Harris. And then my name was getting involved in that. When you go look, when you go back and look at the, the chat replay, you know, and that's the thing, folks, there's a lot of people that believe a lot of different things. And I'm not going to sit there and criticize somebody over their beliefs. If you don't like it, don't listen to them and don't invest in them. Did you know about about, about a third of the prophecies that are out there are from Solomon? And then you take another look and another third of those come from Dr. Maria Conwell. And then everybody else makes up all the other prophetic words. But what are you going to do with the prophecies that she prophesied about? And then Robin prophesied about way later on. And see, after this video, a lot of people came on this channel and made a bunch of comments. And they went over there and they harassed Solomon. So I don't know if you're aware about that, Robin, about what you did and what you said. Is, is that what we're supposed to do? Are we supposed to go harass other people who don't think and believe like you? Because your teachings aren't always accurate and correct. You said God is not a female. The Bible says in Genesis 1.26 that God created man in his image, male and female. How can you talk about any other ministries and you haven't even researched them? And why did you only attack these two people? Out of all the Christian ministries that are out there that could be teaching wrong, why just these two? That's the question I want to know. And why would you condone what these people are doing? They're going around harassing people because of what you are saying. Remember when I talked about the tongue? Because of your tongue and you talking bad about other people, right, is causing other people to go out and harass other people. And you said before that there are no female angels, right? So let's take a look at that. So in the Bible, there are male type angels, there are animal angels, there are, there are animal angels that have three heads. They have angels that don't even look like human beings or represent human beings. In Zechariah chapter 5, verse 5, it says, The angel who talked with me came out and said to me, Lift your eyes now and see what that is goes forth. So I asked, What is it? He said, It is a basket that is going forth. He said, it is their, This is their resemblance throughout the earth. Here is a lead disc lifted up, and this is a woman sitting inside the basket. And then he said, this is wickedness. And he thrust her down into the basket and threw the lead cover over its mouth. Then I raised my eyes and looked, and there were two women coming with the wind in their wings. For they had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the basket between the heaven and the earth. So I said to the angel who talked with me, where are they taking, carrying the basket? And he said to me to build a house for it in the land of Shinar, which is in Iraq. When it is ready, the basket will be set there on its base. Okay, so in this one, he's being shown angelic beings that resemble women. Okay, now if God is going to create mankind in his image, male and female, what does that make the Holy Spirit? Male and female. All right, now let's go to the book of Jeremiah. All right. How many times has he talked about the queen of heaven? One, two, three, four, five. Well, who is the queen of heaven? Obviously, obviously the queen is always referred to as a female. Jeremiah 44, 19. The woman also said, when we buried incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings to her, 
Did we make cakes for her to worship her and pour out drink offerings to her without our husband's permission? Right? In Jeremiah 44, 25. We will surely keep our vows that we have made to burn incense to the queen of heaven and pour out drink offerings to her. Right? Over and over and over again. The queen of heaven is a female angelic being. Her dominant side, a female fallen angel, they would not refer to her as the queen of heaven and continually say her, her, her. So there is female angels, just like there are male angels. There are female angels. There are animal angels. There are, there are angels that don't look like humans. There are angels that have three heads. So I say all this, you know, I, I don't necessarily believe in every teaching or every belief of the people that I show, but don't sit there and knock other people when your teachings aren't even where they should be at. I don't agree with Solomon in reincarnation, and that goes the same with purgatory. None of that really matters to me. What we do on this channel is we show the dreams and visions. So, and so not everybody is perfect in their teachings. But this is the thing. Personally, I believe I know what was actually going on because after this, they came out with a, his wife came out with a video and said, "Oh, we know we're being attacked, but your husband is going on live. And he's going on live YouTube and attacking people that are involved in the wealth transfer. He's attacking these women, and then the people that are following Robin are going and attacking them on their pages and their sites, and they're sending me information and they're sending me nasty comments too as well." But if you get attacked all the time, why would you have to make a reply video to this, right? Because she was so upset because of all Robin's followers were going on there and harassing her on her YouTube channel, our nation. But that does not give you the right to slander her on live YouTube, knowing that we show her on my channel. And I know that Robin does watch the videos on this channel because he's made comments on my channel. So obviously, at some point, he's had to see her videos. And so who is it that the people that are talking to him and sharing these things with him, and he doesn't even do his own investigative work. How are you so influenced that you just heard about Dr. Maria Conwell's prophecies not coming to pass? You heard about Prophet of Solomon, right? But you don't even do your own research. So it can only be people that watch my channel. And then they go to you and tell you about these people that I'm showing. And you know what? Listening to some things, I don't know if I was attacked or not, but it sounded like it was in, in some instances. And so everything that I've shared right here, you cannot say that other people are wrong or where their prophecies come from because it's obvious that out of the five things that I talked about, that you have been wrong many, many, many times. So where are you getting your prophecies from? You talk about Maria Conwell's prophecies not coming to pass. What about your prophecies? Oh, I, I do want to say this. Because for those of you who are attacking me, but yet you're investing in Solomon's prophecies concerning cryptocurrency, you're a hypocrite. And it doesn't matter if Robin prophesied it about it later on. Because when I look at this list that I have right here, and there's a lot more, I'm not going to show them all. But you might as well take away a third of the prophecies concerning these cryptocurrencies. Some of these, some of these prophecies that came from Robin concerning these coins didn't come until after Solomon. They didn't come until after Dr. Maria Conwell, but he's prophesying about the same soul. It makes you feel comfortable now that you can invest in these. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of these coins that Solomon and Dr. Maria Conwell have been prophesying over the last year, right? So it makes you a hypocrite like ADA. If you're investing in ADA, where did that prophecy come from? Do you even know where it came from, right? Robin talked about it later on after everybody else. And let's not forget that he did repent of those prophecies dealing with the election and the return of Trump, but then turned around and then had a December prophecy for the return of Trump, which never happened. And let's not forget on February 22nd, 2014, that Kim Clement did prophesy what is going on right now with R.V. Wade. You can search through Kim Clement's database prophecy and find those. So and right now, there's a lot of people saying, oh, my prophecies come to pass about this and that. And there's multiple people doing it, but there were others who have been saying it for many, many years. And so really, all they had just had is confirmation prophecies. 
So when I look at all of Robin's failed prophecies, then where in the heck are all your prophecies coming from? All the ones that I mentioned on this video, failure after failure after failure, where are you getting your prophecies from? Where did you get all your Trump prophecies from that completely failed? Where are you? Where did you get your Bitcoin prophecy January of 100,000? Well, you know what? Didn't Emmanuel Johnson say that too? He said that he saw 100,000 in January or February. Well, that failed. He said that and Emmanuel Johnson, let me, let me share something with you folks. I pay attention. Okay, Emmanuel Johnson said the wealth transfer was supposed to start in December. Well, here we are in May and the wealth transfer hasn't started. You know, a lot of people talk about Julie Green and how, oh, you should listen to Julie Green and all this and all that. Let me, let me share something with you. If I came on this channel before the Israel election and I told you God said that Netanyahu was going to win and that all this election corruption was going to be exposed and it didn't happen, how would you guys look at me? We're not just talking about a prophecy about an investment. We're talking about Israel, God's country that he chose for himself. This is not something that you would take lightly. And so, you know, I keep, you know, people keep telling me about Julie Green and all she does is prophesy about Epstein and the laptop and exposure and all that every single time. But she keeps saying, God said, I did not record this video. Somebody else recorded it. So I'm just showing you a clip from her prophecy that was on May the 31st, 2021. Watch a miracle about to happen in the land of Israel against its enemies, for the Lord of hosts is in control. And nothing or any of its of her enemies and anything of her enemies tries, it will not win. And the coup against the one I have chosen for that land, which is Benjamin Netanyahu, will not be removed. The plans will be exposed and I will bring him and Trump together and this nation to a greater way your enemies cannot stand against. Okay, so you heard that. A miracle. And that their plans would be nothing. And they will not win. Okay, so what happened? She's supposed to be a prophet speaking on behalf of God. And that word, that big prophetic word, that's, not, that's no little prophetic word. That's a huge prophetic word. It did not come to pass at all whatsoever. So where was she prophesying from? Was she prophesying from God or was she prophesying from her flesh? Now, Julie Green has been around for a while because there have been people that have been picking apart her prophecies for a long time. And when you go back, all her prophecies from, from that time on are all gone. You can't find that prophecy on her channel anymore. You can't find all the failed prophecies that she had. She disappeared and came back and spewing the same stuff. So where is she getting her prophecies from? What happened to all her prophecies from last year and the year before? Where are they all at? So that's why I have to question when I look at prophets and prophecy. And when you say the Lord said that Netanyahu was going to remain in office and it didn't happen, where are you getting your prophecies from? And just because you prophesy all this stuff about the laptop and exposure and you, you know, jumping on the bandwagon of Elon Musk and all that and freedom, that's, those are all the things that I see. Oh yeah, her prophecy of Roe versus Wade being fulfilled, right? Well, Mark Taylor has been talking about that for a long time. And this video right here, as soon as Elon Musk took over Twitter, oh, a tidal wave of truth is coming to this land. We've been hearing that from her for a long time. Currently here, I have four different channels that go after these prophets when they say something that is against the Bible or they have a false prophecy that didn't come to pass. Julie Green is included in these, but you can't find those videos on her YouTube anymore. Why would she remove those videos? Over and over again, all the favorite prophets, and these people say some really weird things. One, it's one of the reasons why I don't show certain people anymore. Right? This is another channel, the same thing. They go after everybody and they look at what they say and they look at their prophetic words and you will find her videos in some of these channels. Here's another one, fighting for the faith. Over and over and over again, all these prophets that everybody puts on a pedestal don't even realize some of the things that some of these people say because you don't pay attention or you don't pay attention to the prophecies. 
over and over and over again. Now, I don't call anybody a false prophet. I just don't follow them anymore. It's not my role to go and and be a crusade and go on everybody's YouTube channel and call them false prophets and all kind of stuff. Everybody that you can think of is on here. Amanda Graves, Robin Bullock, prophecies. There's a lot of them that have failed. If you want to sit there and crucify people who are actually more prophetically accurate than some of these other people, because let me tell you something. Solomon has been more accurate than I know than anybody else. What I just shared with you about Robin, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So you can sit there and criticize other people, but the people that you put up on a pedestal are wrong consistently. And take away their confirmation prophecies. right? So do that. When you strip away confirmation prophecies, what do you have left? A bunch of prophecies that most of them have not come to pass. Now, I'm not saying he's not a prophet. I'm not saying he doesn't have a prophetic gift, right? But many of the things that I have shared on here that have come to pass didn't wasn't a prophecy. It was just from research. He has so many prophecies every time he comes on YouTube, right? You forget about all the other old prophecies, you know? But there are people that remind me all the time. He did say this on this day. He said this on this date. He said this was going to happen by this time. So what gives you the right to criticize somebody you haven't even researched? on live television, knowing exactly who you're talking about. Because you know, you said that these people are telling you things, or you heard, or whatever. Obviously, you're talking to people who have watched Solomon, who have watched Dr. Maria Conwell. If Solomon never talked about crypto prophecies, 99% of you would have never heard of her. The only way that you're getting these is either through Johnny or through me. And so you have these people that are coming to you They got you to do exactly what they wanted you to do. And now all of a sudden you want to prophesy about Bitcoin going to zero. All of a sudden now you're going to prophesy about KuCoin being one of the prophetic platforms. All of a sudden you want to talk about Shiba Inu. All of a sudden, just recently, oh, it's the Bitcoin buy limit orders. You can't keep taking prophecies from other people and making it your own. The big E is not earth it's something completely different but you don't have the right to sit here all of a sudden and prophesy these things about bitcoin buy limit order when they're coming from people you don't even agree with and for those people when you look at the prophetic list if you don't agree with prophet solomon on what she believes that's fine but i believe that she does have a gift because she's been more prophetically accurate and a lot of these prophecies that robin is giving these were already prophesied by solomon well before he prophesied them. And that goes the same with Dr. Maria Conwell too as well. She prophesied some of these coins that he is talking about. So if you don't believe in either one of those people or even Christopher Harris, I've got a lot of stuff about Christopher Harris. So where are these prophecies coming from? If if you are claiming that these prophecies are not coming from God, but then you're turning around and prophesying the same investments, But then yet, you're not even right on Kim Clement. You said, God said. And those people that are out there that are harassing people, then you're a hypocrite for investing in any of these prophetic investments. And some of you don't even know which ones they are that Solomon prophesied about. Because you know what? When I talk about it, or Currency 365 talks about it, we talk about the prophetic dealing with certain coins, but we've already discussed where they came from. So if you you didn't hear that, you wouldn't even know. You can't just change your tune all of a sudden. I mean, just look at all the prophecies I just went over. You're going to change your tune on Shiba Inu? So, I mean, who's telling you about Bitcoin buy limit orders? Is it the same people that are telling you about Solomon and and Dr. Maria Conwell and other people? No. To me, when I'm hearing these things, when I heard about Bitcoin going to zero, the KuCoin, the Shiba Inu prophecies, all of a sudden it was a change of heart, and now the BTC buy limit orders, I'm really second-guessing where your prophecies are coming from. Then you should have been prophesying those things last year, and not this year, when all the other prophets that you say are witches, and you saying that their gift is from the enemy, or they're prophesying out their flesh, or they're stealing prophecies. Well, how can they if they prophesied it before you did? You, If you strip away... All the confirmation prophecies, you strip away, what do you have left? You have nothing but a few, an empire token and a couple other tokens. That's all you have. 
you can't just jump on the bandwagon all of a sudden. I'm just at the point to where I think that when I look at all these prophecies that have not come to pass, I have to question whether or not where your prophecies are coming from. And this would have actually probably never took place if the attacks never happened. I still had concerns about some of these prophecies. Hey, he did say this was going to happen. You know, well, he just got his timing wrong. You know, we, we kind of give grace. But you, but the grace that we gave you, you did not give that to other people. And there's going to be a lot more to come dealing with the situation. And I've already shared that with uh, my group of what's about to come because of the attacks, not just from the prophet, but from the people who instigated it and the people who are perpetrating the attacks. Just like I just shared just a small list, a very small list of prophecies that did not come to pass. Because if I really dig into it, I could sit here for hours and go over teachings and prophecies that are not biblical. If you want to attack other people's teachings, then guess what? Your teachings are open to attack too. Because I could sit here, you talk about dinosaurs and how they're hybrids and the earth has only been here for 6,000 years. And because of people don't study the Bible in the Greek and the Hebrew, which he talks about all the time, but if you actually read Genesis 1 and 1 and 1 and 2 and the rest of the Bible in the Greek and the Hebrew, you're going to find out that the earth has not been here for 6,000 years. Look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and verse 2 in the, in the Hebrew. And you'll find out that there was a world before God recreated the earth in six days. Six of his days, not six literal days. I could break down these teachings and just show how wrong you are too as well. Since you can do it without even reading their prophecies. But I'm but I'm reading the prophecies. I'm reading your prophecies. But I'm not going to take being attacked anymore. And I don't like it when your followers are attacking other people. So when I look at all Robin's prophecies, I have to figure out do they come from God or is it the gift of God or does it come from the enemy? Or does it come from flesh? Or does it come from reading other, pe other people's prophecies? Because if you're prophesying the same thing as other prophets, but then you're calling them a witch and false prophets and everything else, then where are they getting their prophecies from? If you're prophesying, if you're prophesying the same thing, then where are you getting your prophecies from? When you strip away all the prophecies that both Dr. Maria Conwell and Solomon talked about, you strip all those ones away from the wealth transfer, what do you have left? Right? For those of you who complain about Christopher Harris, Strip those away too. What do you have? Right? You got empire and a few other tokens. Sun token and, and, and maybe two or three others. That's all you have. You don't have any of the things that we've been talking about. So I'm sorry that if I made people upset. And I don't care if I lose subscribers. I don't care if I lose, you know, Patreon members. I don't, at this point, I really don't care. Because you know what? It's not worth the stress that you guys, that some of you are trying to put me under. The way that I'm going to be doing things now, and I'm sharing it with my group, because obviously somebody is going back and sharing things with Robin. Robin is just out there blasting people he doesn't even, he's never researched, right? Then all of a sudden he's coming out with all these prophecies about KuCoin and BTC buy limit orders and Shiba Inu. So that's the thing. Why did you change your tune about Shiba Inu all of a sudden? Uh, next. <clears throat> this is for the crypto people also. Shiba Inu, you know how I feel about Shiba Inu, so you have to know that this is from the Lord because I would never say this in my own flesh. Nevertheless, my opinion does not matter, but the Lord's opinion is what matters in this situation. When he tells me something, whether or not I agree with it, I have to share it with you. Okay? He said that Shiba Inu will continue to grow and grow rapidly. Rapidly. Within like days and, and like maybe a week or two, but it will grow to the single digits of pennies on the dollar. I wrote it down right there. Pennies on the dollar. <laughs> you know how I feel about Shiba Inu. Get it. Go get it right now. <laughs> um, I'm not giving you investment advice. I'm, I'm just like saying, you know, this is how I feel in the flesh. I'm like, whatever. Just go do whatever you're going to do. Um, but the Lord did say he would, he would, it would prosper. I did say that before, um, even though it, it wouldn't be blessed. So it might be a short-term thing, but <clears throat> apparently he, he says that they're going to grow and he wants to give you the opportunity um, to do what you're going to do with that.
And I see six cents on the dollar all the way up to nine cents on the dollar. Um, and it could go even higher. Like just now I saw a flash of 11 cents on the dollar. Last I knew it was worth like 0. 0.0003 or something like that. So um, that's all I can tell you about that. And I, I don't know why, but I, I just heard the name um, Rob Duff uh, pop up into my head. And that the Lord is saying um, he's been accurate in his predictions about what's going to happen with the Shiba Inu coin. So, <clears throat> um, I don't, I mean, I've had one conversation with the guy um, in the past, and he has a really good heart, um, and he's very prophetic. So, I just am putting that out there. The Lord told me to just share that just now. It's, you know, I, that's whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. But I mean, he has a really good heart. Um, so, I don't know why the name popped up, but the Lord said to say it, so I said it. So, if you're watching Wrapped Up, I hope that you're blessed by this. Okay, so he said that the Lord said within days or a week or two that it's going to grow rapidly. So this had to be from the Lord. Well, that was on 1217, right? And we have not seen it at single digits. But it will grow to the single digits. So he brings up a person named Rob Duff, and the Lord has said that he he's been accurate so just like that the name popped in his head he's had one conversation with him and this is why i say again where are you getting your information if you are praying about crypto the last thing that you need to do is get involved with anybody who's predicting the price of coins so hopefully you guys get what i'm saying right we heard that with the xrp too as well i showed you guys that and so if so many prophecies have been wrong, so there's just some things that I'm really trying to figure out with all this, if you guys understand what I'm saying. When Robin came on here, I defended him. And I said, not every prophet's going to get it right. He's, they're going to get it wrong. And then you turn around and then slam other people that you have never even investigated. Slam their prophecies. So I went all the way back to April about all these different prophecies that he's made over, over the past year. Those people who do follow Robin and you think that Maria Conwell and Solomon and Johnny and all these people, that they're not for God and that they're false prophets and all this and all that, and they're don't invest in the prophetic investments then. See what you have left. And I challenge from here on out, when it comes to anybody who's prophesying, start checking the news before the, when the prophecy comes out, check the news. See, check YouTube to see if somebody else has already prophesied about it. Right, because I'm not gonna pro I'm not gonna prophesy off the news. Something comes out late at night, and then in the morning I'm gonna prophesy it. Like, oh my gosh, you just said that today, and all of a sudden in the news feed it pops up. Start looking at that, folks. Right. Sometimes, yes, God does want us to know about certain things, but there are some people. There's a lot of people that prophesy off the news, and they're just making a prediction of what they read. And you know how I know that is because of the failed Trump prophecies going back and the failed exposure prophecies and the failed election prophecies. Because all that stuff was already online. If it's okay for if it's okay for Robin to go out and, and say what he says, then it's okay for other people to go over what he's saying. And actually, folks, it's a lot deeper than that, but I'm not going to share it here. And that has me cause for concern. I'm sorry that if I offended anybody... I am sorry if you're upset with me and, you know, I'm only doing what I feel like I am led to do. And we don't need discord within the wealth transfer community. And we don't need anybody bandwagging and trying to get a piece of the pie right before it begins and suddenly change their tune. That's just the way I look at it and that's the way I feel and that's my opinion. So if you want to go ahead and continue and follow those prophecies and follow that and then and continue to slam me and continue to slam those other people and, and get rid of your Bitcoin buy limit order. Oh, wait a minute. Well, Robin here at the last second, you know, said Bitcoin buy limit orders. Now, all of a sudden now, you just need to follow Robin and his prophecies, right? And he could give you guidance and direction on everything else that has been that he is prophesying about. Don't be a hypocrite and still sit there and try to figure out what investments you can get into. 
And you know what's going to happen for those people who are hypocrites? They're going to end up fumbling and putting themselves out of the wealth transfer very, very quickly. So that is all I have for today. I thank you for listening. God bless. TC out. They are luring the masses in, these false prophets, who, who, who we, uh, we've seen time and time again, and we've exposed them time and time again to some of these patriotic conferences that are out there, whatever the case may be, and people are gullible enough to fall for this trash and sow into that, thinking that they are sowing into the right system, God's system. It's not God's system. It is the devil's system, and I'm going to do a class on this at some point, and so I'm still working on it, and I'm going to draw it out for people. Well, people can understand what they're sowing into is from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It looks like God, tastes like God, smells like God, and it, therefore, they think it's God. It's not. It is pure evil, period, Chris. This system that the churches are in are under judgment. I'm going to read the other prophecy tonight you asked me to read right here that I wrote in January of this year called Judgment Has Begun. And we'll go into some of that right now. But here's the other thing I want to, uh, that I want to go into here is that a minute ago I read that prophecy and I talked about how these false prophets are prophesying current events. And and I don't want that I didn't want that to some, come across as being arrogant. So I'm gonna I want this will explain a lot of it right here. This is why I wrote this a while back. It says, Do you notice how all these false prophets are prophesying on current events? Why? Because they can't get revelation from the tree of life. They have to get information from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, current events. They, are, they read or are fed info from the media or their handlers or supposedly high-level military contacts, feed that info to the false prophet, and they prophesy it as if it were coming from God. What happened to prophesying something years in advance? Then the prophetic voice has to stand on the test of time in order for it to come to pass. Why doesn't that work right now? Because people want it right now. We live in a microwave society that people want it now. God does not work like that. There's always a character testing process that takes place and people don't want it. So the false prophets step up and give the people what they want to hear in the now. They step up and give them what they want to hear in the now. You can have a word given on current events. No waiting. No testing, no nothing, just receive that word and bang. Just like that, within 24 to 48 hours, you too can be deceived into believing that BS. That's not all. You can sow and give into the support of that same BS bail system. Callers are standing by to take your hard-earned money. We got PayPal check, money order, <laughs> cash is always king. Heck, we even take bling. Unbelievable, folks. <laughs> Unbelievable. A lot of bling. This is, this is how ridiculous this has become. Yeah. I mean, I know that's all, uh, it's, it's mocking these guys. I, I don't care at this point. This is how ridiculous this is, has become, Chris. It's about money. It's about control. It's about how many followers do I have. It's about whose platform can I get on to promote myself and to glorify myself, not bring glory to God or Jesus Christ, period. It's not about the Holy Spirit. It's about business. How can I take my church to a new level of business, period? These demons have infiltrated the seminaries, the churches, ministries, prophetic ministries. Why? To take them to a novel, another level of business. Yes. It's not about souls. It's about That's right. money That's right. and control.